Okay, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Richard. I am inbound to the NDB. I'm uh, only eight tenths of a mile out. The NDB is at the Somerville Airport, and I'm holding a heading of 247, even though the um, uh, ADF arrow is starting to fall. That's just because I'm so close to it, it's going to flop. Okay, airspeed's a little high, I'm going to pull it back down. So as it flops, I'm going to start the timer. And it's flopped. Timer started. Let the airspeed come down a minimum of 80 knots, adding a bit of power right about there. Okay. So now we're flying the outbound on 247. And tell you what, we're not quite on 247, so I am going to, let's see, I'm going to turn about three or four degrees to get the ADF uh, straight south. Now, you don't have to be absolutely exact here. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, airspeed is okay. I'm turning back to 247. Let's, let's check this out. There's 567. Okay, there's 247. Okay. And now, if I look at the um, ADF dial, it's straight up and down. I like that. So I am now exactly on the outbound leg of the um, uh, NDV. And we're going to fly probably two and a half, three minutes out. Airspeed's a little low. Bring the power back in some more. So as long as my heading is good and I'm close enough to the straight up and down on the... Um, the ADF course arrow, I'm happy. I'm not happy my airspeed is wobbling all around here, but that's all right. We'll get the airspeed under control here sooner or later. Pull the power back to maybe 1900 and see if that holds. <coughs> okay, we're two minutes and 30 seconds out. That's not nearly enough because we're only three miles from the view, from the uh, airport or the uh, NDB. I like to be more like five miles out. NDB looks good. Heading looks good. Airspeed is good. I'm good. So let's bring up the chart here. Make sure we know where we are. Okay. So we came in basically this way. We passed the uh, NDB. We're now heading out here. We're probably more than halfway out. Um, and uh, sort of when I feel like it or five miles out or something, we're about five miles, I'll start my turn. We'll turn to 292, go out for about a minute or so, come back into 112, and then intercept back in. Okay, three minutes. Yeah, I'm going to turn it four minutes, okay, because that's, uh, we're five and a half miles out, that'll work just fine. 
Turn to 292, which is 45 degrees. Bringing this up. 29012. Okay, so we're going to turn to a heading at 292. Stop the timer, reset the timer, start the timer. Okay. Tell you what, I'm going to climb just to get back to 2100 feet. I'm a little lower than I like to be. Add a touch of power so I don't lose any altitude. Okay, we're looking good. I'm uh, going to fly out for, I usually use a minute and a half. Uh, we'll watch to make sure we don't get anywhere near the 10 mile limit to be out here. Okay, nose back down and we're at 2100 feet and we're going to hold the power. Uh, so we're at the 75 to 80 range, right about there. The timing of how you do this uh, is dependent upon your airspeed, okay? If you're going a little slower like I have been, I might go a little longer than the minute and a half. Let's just see. Okay, heading looks good. Uh, now the next heading is 112 inbound, which is a 180 degree turn. And uh, we will uh, watch for the needle to come back. Um, the ADF course arrow needle to come back. Okay, two minutes is enough. We're going to start our turn. Stop the clock, reset it, start it, turn 180 degrees to the left. Now, this I too rather slowly just because it allows the um, you can see I'm inching one click at a time the heading bug and that sets my angle for the uh, turn at about 10 degrees. Uh, I don't want to turn too fast here, but I don't want to turn too slow, okay? Air speed's dropping a little, add a touch more power. Okay, keep turning. And when I get a, a little closer to 112, I'll bring up the uh, heading indicator. So we're just turning real slow here. Pull the power back to hold at 80. Let's see if that holds better right there. Okay, so we're now ready to keep turning. In fact, to finish this off, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this up and turn to 112. Okay, so there is uh, 11012. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, looking good. So now I'm waiting for the um, uh, heading 112 is 45 degrees off of the um, 067 course I want. All right, let's get the head the airspeed back to 70. So what that means is when the course arrow here gets over to um, 45 degrees off the heading of 112, 
then we'll be on the radial 067 and it's be time to turn. So we're going to watch this to drop. I'm going to lead it a little bit. I'll decide exactly how much in a little bit. Okay. Airspeed may be finally under control here. I'm going to pull it back just a hair. We're not going to start our descent until we're inbound. <coughs> okay. So on the course arrow here it shows about 320 so we want 315 right there uh, or 317 maybe uh, right there uh, for that to drop but I'm just going to go ahead and turn when it gets a little closer here Looking good. Starting to, I'm going to start my turn. Okay. Turning to 37, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7. Okay. And now we're inbound. And now we'll watch this course hour. We're on 367. And we will see how well this comes in and whether we overshoot or not. So 367. Wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Heading is 367. Airspeed is good. That's as about as good as you get on the ADF. We're just going to fly it in. All right, we're six miles out. As you see, we're doing this all under the hood. I can start my descent. So pulling the power back, going from 2,100 feet, putting the nose down with a 500 uh, vertical speed, maybe even 600 vertical speed. Okay, making sure the power comes in enough to hold 70. And this will get us down to at least the pattern altitude. I'm not going to go below 900 because if you look at the chart, uh, the plate. Oops, there, where to go? There it is. Okay. There we go. Uh, minimum 880, so we won't go below 900. And a thousand will do just fine. Airspeed's a little high, bringing it back down again in the descent. 600 feet a minute, passing 600, uh, 1600 feet for a thousand feet. Airspeed coming back. Distance to runway 4.6. Speed. I'm not too worried, too much worried about the airspeed. Comes like I'm going to be leveling off here, and uh, so in fact, I'm going to cut my descent rate now to about three. That'll lower my speed a little, add a bit of power to compensate. Okay. Okay, we're just about a thousand. Airspeed is 75, dropping a little bit, bring it back up to so we hold 70. Okay, now right about here, if I was really in the weather, I would want to look outside, and make sure we're not in the weather. Oh, good, we see a runway, we're doing fine. Okay, so. Um, we can continue on a little bit, but what I would prefer to do at this point 
is put one click of flaps in, holding my airspeed. Okay, here we go. Put a second click of flaps in, holding my airspeed around 70, adding power to stay at 70. I like to put the flaps down so it trims my airplane for me. 70 knots. Can see the runway. Turn off the autopilot and land. Power back. We got a descend. 500 feet a minute minimum. Turning over to the runway. 600 feet a minute descent rate. And here we go. Airspeed a little low, add some power. 65 to 70 is what I shoot for here. So um, there's that tree coming at me. I've been, I've seen that tree before somewhere. We're going to probably fly right over it here. Okay. Bassy Light says I'm high. Tree says I'm high. Why not? a steeper descent rate because I'm on a steeper angle. 70 knots of airspeed. I'm just going to leave that right there. Okay, if I land down the middle of the runway, it won't matter. Okay, looking good. Here we go. Idle power. Chase view. Oops, little balloon. That's uh, all right. Ah, there's a really good landing. That's just fine. All right, let's uh, clean up the flaps. Keep going straight down the runway here. And we'll look outside. Oops. There we are. Okay, I'm not going to turn off here. I'm just going to hit the brakes. There we are, hitting the brakes. The turn off is over there right where the windsock is. Okay, good successful approach. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.